A colonoscopy allows us to look at the lining of your large bowel to see if there is any disease present. This video will tell you what to expect from your colonoscopy. A few weeks before your colonoscopy, you'll have the opportunity to discuss the procedure with your screening nurse and ask any questions you have. This usually happens over the phone, but if you need to, you can ask to speak to a screening nurse in person. The screening nurse will speak to you about any medication you are currently taking. You should continue to take most medications as usual, but there are some that you will need to stop taking before your colonoscopy. For example, medications that thin your blood. Please be sure to tell your screening nurse about any medications you are taking. You may need to have blood tests ahead of your procedure. Your screening nurse will let you know if you need them. Before your colonoscopy, you will need to take bowel preparation. Please read the instructions carefully as soon as you receive them as you will need to start preparing your bowel at least two days before the procedure. We have another video that tells you more about this on our website. If you have any further questions, you can contact your screening nurse for advice. When packing your bag, remember to pack a dressing gown and slippers to walk around in. You may be asked to stay for the whole morning or afternoon, so pack something to keep you occupied. You may also want to pack a snack to eat after your colonoscopy. You will not be able to wear any jewellery during your colonoscopy, so remember to take off any jewellery before you leave home. You may also want to arrange for someone to pick you up from the hospital, as if you have been given sedation for your procedure, you will not be able to drive for 24 hours. And you will need someone to stay with you for 24 hours after your colonoscopy. Just before your colonoscopy, a nurse will take you into a private room. You will be asked again about medications. We will check your blood pressure and ask you about any medical conditions you may have. You will be able to ask any questions and the nurse will check that you still want to go ahead. The nurse will put an intravenous needle into the back of your hand to give sedation if you want it. Before the procedure starts, you'll be offered sedation. This will not make you unconscious, you will just feel calm and a bit sleepy. You should not drive, use machinery or drink alcohol for at least 24 hours after your procedure. The effect of the sedative takes some time to get through your system and may affect your reactions and judgement. You will also be offered gas and air. Remember, if you begin to feel uncomfortable during the course of the procedure, you can ask for pain relief at any time. In the colonoscopy room there will be a colonoscopist, your screening nurse and at least two other nurses to help with the procedure. You'll be asked to remove your dressing gown and slippers and lie on your left side with your knees bent. The doctor will then begin the procedure. The colonoscopist will start by inserting a finger into your bottom to perform a rectal exam. This will help lubricate the anal passage and identify if there are any significant hemorrhoids or growths. The colonoscopist will then move the camera through your bowel. There will be a screen in front of you that shows what the camera can see. The colonoscope will use gas to expand the bowel to make it easier to see the lining. This may be uncomfortable and may cause you to break wind. This is nothing to worry about. During the investigation, the colonoscopist may need to take some samples of the lining of your bowel for analysis or may be able to remove polyps. Don't worry, you shouldn't feel this. A polyp is a small growth in the bowel and they are very common. Once the procedure is over, you will be taken to the recovery area. A nurse will stay with you for about an hour to check that you're okay. After this, you will be able to have something to eat and drink. The screening nurse will explain what was found at your colonoscopy and give you a copy of the colonoscopy report. If you had any samples taken, you will have an appointment to get your results a week later. 
Having a colonoscopy can be uncomfortable, but it is the best way to find what has caused your positive bowel screening result.